Ahoy, me land lovers. I bought myself a yacht. Not that I can sail it yet, but I'm going to learn that. It's behind me. It's named Sequondo, which in Italian means yes, when. And of course, the answer to that's always now. Uh, it's a 30 footer, nine meters, wooden boat. It's um, uh, triple diagonal uh, Oregon. Uh, with dynal sheath, sheafing. Um, dynal is like a polyester material which is like wool and um, it's dipped in epoxy and it forms like a watertight uh, barrier. That, so it should, you know, it should last a fair while. It's already 37 years old. It was made in 1983. Made by an amateur boat builder in Sydney. It took him 11 years to build it in his backyard. Um, now that uh, wooden boats aren't so common because it's so expensive the wood and uh, people aren't skilled so much in building wooden boats anymore it's a bit of a, a dying art form so um, I just saw the photos the price was really good um, I paid twelve thousand dollars for it uh, what the story was that the guy who built it uh, passed away and it was sort of left as as he left it with his reading glasses on the table they even found the new, the owners um, George from Spain uh, and Jody from New Zealand even found a bottle of wine down in in one of the coolest parts of the boat so it's just full of junk but in a way that's good for me because all the tools I need paints um, epoxy or all, all the stuff to repair it is on is on the boat um, so a little bit more about the boat um, in 19, in 19, uh, 2007, no, 2013, it had a new um, Beta eight, uh, 20 horsepower motor put in it, which has only done 130 hours, so the motor's like brand new. Um, George and Jody, they basically found the yacht and um, decided it was worth saving, and they spent, they had $10,000 spent um, professionally having the deck repaired there was some rot in the deck um, and they also got the the um, the actual um, rigging set up so they could sail from Sydney to Yamba um, it's all set up for open water cruising it's got um, a life draft it's got an EPIRB it's got single sideband and VHF radios it's got depth meter it's it's um, yeah it's a it's a I'll just um, paddle around and give you a look and um, Inside, it's a warm mix of mahogany, cedar, and Oregon. Uh, you know, all wood. Um, yeah, it's a mast head sloop, so it's got the main, the main sail, and um, the genoa at the front. Um, and it's a, um, it's a one, it's a half tonner, and a half tonner is a, um, uh, a design set up to. The 1967 to 1993 IOR racing um, uh, rules, but it's also based on a Nevins design. Now Nevins was a, a boat builder from New York in the 1930s, and um, one of the chief, um, I suppose, rule makers of, of wooden boat design. And he was known for making boats that had very strong dimensions and very good for open water cruising. Uh, so yeah, Nevin's design, um, wood, my first yacht, and I've got to learn to sail it. Inside, um, it's uh, well decked out. There's four sleeping berths, a double up front. Um, there's a kerosene, a kerosene stove. There's a, a, a separate toilet. Um, and there's also a, a, a thermal energy uh, fridge, a, a, a low, an energy, a, a fridge that requires low energy to work. So you're not draining your solar power on the batteries. Um, so there you go. Sequondo. I still have to learn to sail it and I would say that this would be one of my biggest challenges because there's so much you have to learn with sailing. Before you even start you've got to learn diesel mechanics, um, boat repair, you know, wood repairs, electronics, plumbing, <laughs> weather, tides and that's even before I've started sailing. So I plan to take this baby originally up first up the Clarence River then um, north and south around Australia and who knows possibly even the world do you know that um, there's been I think it's is it 4,000 people have climbed Mount Everest 500 people have been to the moon or been into space uh, but you know to sail single-handed so you know solo around the world non-stop 
I think from my figures only 199 people have done it. So I would, could well be 200s if I'm bloody well mad enough. <laughs> well, I've made the first stage. I've bought the bloody yacht. All right, adios.